Hi, uh, welcome to Process Lane. Uh, we'll have a short insightful session on uh, PMP versus Prince2. So here actually I have uh, taken the contents of project management plan as per PMP or PMI. And uh, there is a similar document called as project initiation document which is present in Prince2. So uh, both are used for same or similar kind of purpose. So let us try to compare uh, how these things are related to each other or not related to each other in the short video. So that's the plan. So if we see the contents present in uh, project management plan here and if you see the contents which are present here, so at a quick glance you will understand that these two things doesn't look similar, right? But ultimately it is used for similar kind of purpose. So I'll just try to do a bit of magic here because I have hided some rows and columns. So let me unhide it and hide this one and I'll do the same thing here. Okay, so now I did a small uh, hiding and uh, unhiding things here. So if you see this one, there are certain things you see or you notice that there are commonalities. For example, if you see scope management plan, project scope and exclusion, these two things are common, right? Similarly, schedule management plan and project plan. So it is ultimately talking about schedule. Similarly, with regards to quality, resource, communication, risk. And this is not exactly same, but you know, there are some kind of similarities between procurement, management plan and interface. And stakeholder and interested parties. So it was just same or similar configuration management plan and strategy. Yeah, these things are also similar and uh, you can see project lifecycle description here and uh, you don't have exactly same thing but you have got project app objectives and project controls so which looks little similar development approach and project approach and trailer so if I compare it in this particular way by ordering certain things then you notice that there are quite a lot of commonalities and some things are explicitly mentioned and some things are typically hidden but overall what I can say is otherwise maybe what we can conclude is there are certain things or most of the things are common in project management plan defined by PMI and project initiation document defined by Prince2. Thank you so much.